Good morning, dear pupils. I hope that you are healthy and you are happy today. And I'm glad to hear and I'm glad to have a lesson with you. And firstly, let's begin our lesson from such an activity. Look at the picture and try to guess the topic of our lesson. Good morning, dear pupils. I'm sure that you are healthy and you are, have a good mood today. And let's begin our lesson. And firstly, look at the picture, try to guess the topic of our lesson. And remember that we speak about the city, the village, the places in the city. So look very carefully of this picture. You see the map in the girl's hands. You see the man pointing to something. Oh, yes, bingo. You are right. It's a reinteering in the city. And when we use such question as where is it? Or where is uh, there? Or what can I get to there? And... Uh, Open your notebook and write please the day. Today is the 10th of April. It's Friday. And the topic of our lesson is, uh, of the theme of our lesson is orienteering in the city. Prepositions of movement. We are going to talk about orienteering in the city using various are. Practice the usage of prepositions of place. Learn new words to the topic and the prepositions of movement. But at least we are going to listen the dialects and do tests to them. We also practice in reading, writing and speaking as usual. So let's continue. Look at the map of the city. What are there? Try to remember all words that we learned at the previous lessons. I mean uh, the city objects or the places of the city. You see these names, only repeat them. Bank, apartment house, it's something new, apartment house, Bagatopovarchivka, house, house, if it's in the village it is a bar, park, bridge, Police station or police office, stadium, skyscraper, Hamarochos, city center, hotel, airport, warren house, traffic lights, traffic lights, wood, school, church, fire station, Pozhezhno Stancia train station, shopping center, and we have also market or supermarket, factory or industry, the word, wharf, werf, werf, petrol station, petrol station, hospital, and also with a Mm, drug store, small dust shop for the medicines, drug store or app, something else. So very no. So very good. Now let's continue. And of course, when we speak about uh, the city or where the village. We should remember about other prepositions of place. Let's have some grammar vision. Remember it. In, on, under, behind, in front of, above, below, between, next to, or close to. Where is the ball? The ball is on the box. Yachik na korupci. Where is the ball? The ball is under. Pid. In. V. 
behind – позаду або за чимось, in front of – перед чимось, about – над, below – перед, between – між, next to – поряд, або close to, або near – біля. Let's rewrite these prepositions. Watch, listen, and sin. You see the prepositions in, behind, next to, on, in, under, front, or between. Uh, do you remember that the prepositions of place we uh, are used to, to show what are they are, what they are, or what there is? Для того, щоб показати, що де знаходиться. І пам'ятаємо, що ми використовуємо означений артикль. In, on, under, behind, in front of, next to, between. In, on, under, behind, in front of, next to, between. Rewise the prepositions of place once more. Where is the ball? The ball is on the block or on the box. Мячик на коробці або на блоку. Where is the ball? The ball is above the box. Мяч над коробкою. Where is the ball? The ball is over. Is not the ball, I'm sorry, but the cover. Na korupci, nad korupkuyu. In front of. Miach pered korupkuyu. Next to, close to, besides. Pored s korupkuyu. Where is the ball? The ball is next to the box. Where is the ball? The ball is below. Or in front of, below. Перед коробкою. Where is the cover? It is under. And where is the ball? Under the box. Під коробкою. And where is the ball? The ball is behind the box. Яч за коробкою. Позаду коробки. Але коли ми говоримо про розташування предметів чи об'єктів у місті, when we are speaking about the Uh, location of uh, places and objects in the city. Нам необхідні іще такі прийменники, які прийменники напрямку або прийменники руху. So we have prepositions of uh, movement of directions. When you give directions, you need some verbs and some prepositions, prepositions of movement. Turn left. Повернути ліворуч. Turn right – повернути праворуч. Відповідно, to the left, 
to the right, зліва справа. Go straight ahead, іти прямо. А ми можемо ще й сказати go along the street, іти вздовж вулиці. Go past, проходити повз. Cross, переходити вулицю. Cross, через або переходити через дорогу, через вулицю. And look very careful in this block, in this box, in this object. It is in the corner. In the corner. At the corner of. Бути на розі вулиць, наприклад. Да? Дуже частий виріс, вираз в українській мові, дуже гарний. На розі вулиць або ну, дійсно там, де пересікаються якісь певні маршрути. At the corner of. Якщо дослівне у кутку, але так ми не говоримо, то ми кажемо на розі вулиць, наприклад. І, do you remember what is it when our two roads are crossing? It is a crossroad. Перехрестя. Next to. Next to. Поряд. Opposite. Навпроти. Between you know this. Між двома об'єктами. Між. А ми можемо так само використовувати, якщо хочемо сказати в кінці вулиці, у кінці чогось, ми кажемо at the end of. So now let's continue. Prepositions of movement are the most common. Go straight ahead. Turn left. Turn right. And now let's have practice. We should practice our grammar material. Look at these pictures very careful. You see the tree, the house, the dog, the sun, and the car. The house is... The car. The tree is to the of the house. The car is the house. The sun is the house. The house is the dog and the tree. And the dog is to the of the house. Now try to put, to fill all the, all the correct prepositions. And let's begin to check one by one. I'm sure that first sentence is done. Okay, please. The house is behind the car. Behind the car. Yes, it's right. The next one. The tree is to the left of the house. To the left. To the left. The car is in front of the house. And it's correct. The next. The sun is above the dog. Above the dog. The house is between the dog and the tree. The house is between the dog and the tree. The next one. The dog is to the right of the house. The dog is to the right of the house. Well done. Very good job. And now we listen the dialects. Uh, it's so some three or four little short dialects. But before listening, you should open your vocabulary and put down the new vocabularies. Uh, now we'll work with this. You can find these words in your vocabulary box on page 187 of the book. And also you can find them here. First look at the picture and then try to guess what is it. So look. It's a profession of this young woman. And you have the group of tourists. And what is it? Prepare. It's a guide. Guide. Don't, uh, don't forget we have she is a guide. Гід по-нашому. А, до речі, якщо ми додамо, ми скажемо guidebook, це все буде путівник. The next picture. Look very careful. What is it? It's an object in the city. You can see this in the city. It's a science museum. Put down, please. Copy in your note, in your vocabularies. Science museum. Science museum. 
Музей наук. The next one. It's a type of me or means of transportation. And uh, they, are, they are especially in the big cities. Underground. Underground. Metro. The next picture. Girl something doing. L to look for. The girls are looking for step forwards. Or maybe I'm going to looking for London Bridge. Why not? To look for Shukati. The next one. When you don't like to use uh, some transport, some means of transport, you can go or use your transport. Uh, for example, I use uh, or I go by bus to the science museum. He goes by car to the science museums. And we are going to get uh, to the science museum by trolley bus. Look very careful and remember that with means of transport and with the word go somewhere, we use the prepositions by without any articles. Запам'ятайте, коли ми їдемо на чомусь, мається на увазі вид транспорту, ми використовуємо прийменник by без артиклів. Якщо знаходимося у автобусі, то тоді вже ми скажемо, що я в автобусі і скажемо I am in the bus. And the last word is on foot. On foot. Пішки. I love going on foot. Я полюбляю ходити пішки. Look once more and repeat after me. Guide, science museum, look for, by bus, by car, by trolley bus, underground, on foot. This young, young woman is a very good guide. She likes to take the tourist and show them the science museum. But some people like looking for different objects themselves. And usually tourists can go by underground or by bus, by car, by trolley bus to get some city or some countries. But as for me, I, love, I like to go on foot very much because it's very healthy. So, repeat once more. Guide, underground, science museum, on foot, look for, by bus, by car, by trolley bus. And now, try to remember. What is it? Science museum. What is it? What or who is it or what is it? What is she? It's more correctly. A guide. And what about this picture? Look for. By bus. By car. By trolley bus. On foot. Underground. Well done. You're a very smart and good person today student the best students so and i said before we now have listening you should open your book on page 186 87 i show this on the other slide exercise one listen and say what the address of the museum is be very attentive because you have also some additional task Look very careful and and listen, of course. Listen and try to remember all details about this. It's late morning. The children are in front of the school. Today they are visiting the science museum. Is everybody here? Yes, we are all here. Let's go to the science museum then. But where is Mr. Southgate? 
He's waiting for us in front of the museum. How are we going there? We can go by underground. But we haven't got an underground here. We're not in New York. We can go by bus or on foot. What's the address? 34 High Street. Let's go on foot. It's not far from here. Later. Where now? I think we must turn left. Or maybe right. Is it left or right? Well, this way. Here we are. But this is not a science museum. It's a theater. Oops, the wrong address. This is Hill Street, not High Street. Ah, uh, let's ask somebody to help us. Excuse me, can you help us? Yes, of course. We are looking for the science museum. Where is it? Go straight on. Turn left at the traffic lights. The science museum is next to the bank. You can't miss it. Thank you. You're welcome. You see, I'm an excellent guy. Ha ha! In your dreams! So, you see, the group of uh, children are going to somewhere. So, where are they going? They are going to the museum. And what museum is it? It is a science museum. And what is the address of this the address of this museum? Do you remember? Thirty four High Street. Now you look through the text once more. Look through these small short dialects. And then you do tasks. Now in your copy book, you can do exercise number six, page 188, at least. Or you can do the test. More lately, after our lesson, you do the test uh, on the site Naurok. And now I can show you this maybe lately. You see, uh, you find this link in our folder. Uh, I'm ask you to do this test. Test is uh, the listening page one hundred eighty six exercise one one hundred eighty six. Only do exercise six, page 186. Uh, not six, uh, but 89, I'm sorry. Uh, learn the proposition of movement is also your home task. Today we spoke about uh, uh, prepositions of movement. Uh, of mo movement. Uh, you knew how to direct in the, or how to orientate in, in a, a new city. I'm sure that you can use uh, prepositions of place and movement uh, to express, to find uh, the correct road and to find the object in the city. And also uh, you um, should learn the prepositions of movement and revise the prepositions of place uh, at home. And uh, as home task, you have only to learn the prepositions and uh, you can play the PowerPoint game. You can find it in our Google class. Directions driving the city part one, games one. Uh, so it is a practice for your uh, prepositions of directions. I can maybe show you this um, at least. So. The lesson is over. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you next time.